Revit doesn't just give us the ability to do renderings, it also allows us to do walkthroughs. To do this, we need to come underneath the View tab on the ribbon, highlight where it has the words 3D View, click there, and then pick the Walkthrough tool. When we do, it's going to allow us to begin to place our path as we're walking through the building. And right now, it's going to be from this level here. What I'm really going to do is I'm going to create a path from here, have us walk up to the building, walk in, walk down, come down through this hallway area, come through a door here, and then come back out, and then circle around again, and then see the building again. So to do this, we'll start off by just clicking where we want to place the first spot along our path. Click, click, click. You start to get the idea. Every few steps is if I was actually walking it. Click, click, which is just left clicking with your mouse button. Now when you're doing this walkthrough, Revit will not open doors automatically for you. So when we look at this walkthrough, as we come into the building, it will look like we're going to walk right through the door. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. We'd have to take this into another program like 3D Studio Max or Navisworks in order to have the doors automatically open for us. And I'm just very gently clicking and walking down the hallway. Where you see that cone there at the end of where my cursor is moving, that's where we're looking at. Anything that's within that cone, or even beyond it to a certain extent, you'll be able to see as you're walking through the building. I'm going to walk through the door here that leads through the staircase, come out the building, walk around like this, circle back around again, and then stop more or less where I started from. And then whenever I'm done with that, we're going to click the big green check mark to finish that off. Right now we have a new walkthrough that's been created. And if we look underneath the project browser, what we'll see is that we now have a walkthrough over here. There was one that was already labeled fly in the building, Right now it's called Walkthrough 1. We'll just leave it at that name for now, but if we wanted to rename it, we could by right-clicking on it and then going to Rename and typing in something different. But for right now, I just want to go to Walkthrough 1 and take a better look at it. We can begin to see the building. It's kind of getting cut off because the walkthrough depth, how far back it is that we're looking, isn't all that deep. So I'm going to come in here to Properties, and then we're going to see where this far clip offset is set to. Right now it's set at 100 feet. I'm going to make this be a lot bigger. I want to be able to see very deep. So in this case, we're going to make this be 1,000 feet. And I'll move my cursor into this area. We can now see farther than 100 feet away from us. We're now looking 1,000 feet away from us. And if there's anything more than 1,000 feet away, then it's just going to kind of vanish into the background. If for some reason you've clicked off of this view, or you're in your floor plan view and you can't see this view, all you need to do is open up the walkthrough view, which you can find under the project browser under walkthroughs and double click on the walkthrough one. From there, if you click on this border that goes around the outside, from here if you select on edit walkthrough on the ribbon, you're going to see that there's a frame rate and right now it's set as being 300 of 300. If this was just a really short walk, 300 would be just fine, but we walked a long way. So 300 is probably going to be just a little bit too short. So I'm going to click right here where it says the frame setting and it has 300. And I'm going to change this to be a bigger number, 3000. Each spot that we clicked is considered a keyframe. And we can see that here, keyframe, 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 keyframe. If uniform speed is checked, it will try to keep the same spacing between each keyframe so that you'll be a uniform speed going along. On the other hand, if you wanted to speed up or slow down as you were moving through the building, you could clear the uniform speed and manually adjust the keyframe so you could speed up at certain points as you're going through the building or slow down at certain points as you're going through the building. 3000 is what I wanted to see, so I'm going to click on OK to that. It just updated the keyframe information. And now where it has frame 3000, this means we're right now looking at this view from the very end of the path. And we want to look at it from the very start of the path. So where it has frame 3000, change that to be the number one. So we'll start at the first frame and you'll see the display change when you do that. Click somewhere out here in the space. It'll ask you want to quit editing the walkthrough and actually the answer to that question is going to be no. So just click on no to that. And there'll be a button up here that says edit walkthrough. When you select on that, you're going to see options going across the top here 
for do you want to advance to the next frame? Do you want to see the next keyframe? Or do you just want to play the walkthrough? And that's what we want to do now is play the walkthrough. And by playing the walkthrough, we're going to see step by step, frame by frame, this getting rendered as we're moving along. Well, I can already see the 3000 is going to be pretty slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the escape key to that in order to stop the operation. And I'll say yes to that. And now come back up here to 3000 to try to speed this up and make this be 300 instead. By the way, this is where the frame per seconds we're at. I'll click on OK. It'll readjust all the keyframe stuff. And now we'll click play again. And now we can see it's moving a lot faster now that it has less frames that it has to process. Now, unfortunately, whenever there's going to be things like trees in the way, we're going to run right through the trees. Items such as doors, those doors will not automatically open up for us. So we're going to walk right through this set of doors we're about ready to see here. You can begin to see how if you start clicking really fast or you have a lot of clicks or a lot of turns, you may want to adjust that keyframe so you're not weaving in and out like you're in a race car driving down a street. But now you can see we're walking through the hallway. We're going to walk through this door right here and through another set of doors and out. If we wanted to do this again, we could do this again as well. And if we wanted to have a little bit of color involved, we could do that too. If we wanted to add color to it, do it the same way you would in a normal Revit view, which is coming down to the visual styles and turn shaded on. When you do and you push play to that, it'll then start to take you through the building and you'll see that the glass has color. All the materials that make up the building have color associated with it. So just remember, if you want to set up your rendering, all you need to do is come up here on the ribbon. You go to your View tab, select on the words 3D View. You will create a walkthrough by specifying your path through the building in a plan view. Then go back into the view, select in the corner of the view, specify the frame rate if need be. Then underneath the Edit Walkthrough, push Play in order to generate that walkthrough and visualize that path through your structure.